Oh, is it gonna be something weird where it's like it'll pop up in a few minutes? What about on my channel? Is that working? Okay, I'm on Twitch, so maybe I took it off of Twitter, come to think of it. Yeah. Okay, well I think I'll just switch, uh, stream on Twitch today. Figure out the silly loading issues another time. There we go. Hi everyone, uh, we're gonna play Wind Waker today. As soon as I... How do I go? There we go. Oh, a whole bunch of info on... Yeah. Okay. Looks like it's working for once. Let's hop in. I'm trying something with the blue snowball where it cuts out the sound of the laptop, but I think it'll also cut out the little ambiance sound from the Wii U game. <laughs> a little easier. Okay, I think that'll work. Still the home of the worst streaming setup in gaming. Let's have a look. Did you get a sale? Ah, oh, he'll never stop bugging us until I go get it. Alright. What's going on here? Ooh. Oh, I see. I don't have any controls. I'm left. Do I have inverted controls? Oh, I don't even have inverted controls in the vertical axis. I don't know if I like that. Options. Camera. Let's try reverse left, right, reverse up, down. Yeah, that feels pretty natural. Inverted is perverted, as my roommates used to say. And then let's check that. Yeah, that's what I like. I'm a degenerate inverted controls player. Alright. Do these guys have any more tips for me? Uh, no. I think I already talked to you. No matter how much money you give us, we won't tell you anything. Nope, nothing. Not, e not even for two rupees. Okay. Still not going to tell me anything. Yeah, we never tell you that if you bring Lenzo a Picto box, he'll be super happy and even show you his upstairs gallery. I guess grown-ups like having friends who have the same hobbies too. Must be lonely being a grown-up. That's why we'll never grow up. Oh, they're so useful. They're so devious. Why? Okay, we already talked to the bomb dude. I already talked to the sailor. I tried messing around with the pigs. Oh no. And then he never leaves you alone. That is some great world building. If you offer to help him, he never shuts up about it. No good deed goes unpunished. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why? Looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. and how do I look today? You know, he always shows off his pictures of me just as soon as he's taken them. Oh, lore, lore. The photography shop man has a thing for the little old lady. Showing up at his house and taking pictograms in the dead of night. Oh, wait. What's this? This is the magic potion guy. Okay. Who's that? Hey there, boy. You happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just set it to YXOR and use that button to put it in the post box. It's just that easy. Before long, the reader postman will come to deliver it to whomever you sent it to. He's a hardworking fellow, I tell you. I wonder 
if the Rito Postman has already come today? Such a quiet little town. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Come here. Come to Papa. I'm not an outset anymore. I've got to introduce them to the culture of Outset Island, which is break and destroy. Okay, whose house is this? Potion shop? Potion shop. Break things! <laughs> no comment. I think he's a wage slave, guys. He doesn't care if I wreck the place. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, hello! Uh, you are standing in the one and only True Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard. Our potions are the best, I'm telling you. They're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's that? What's True Jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what True Jelly is. Well, just ask yourself, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words true jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? Uh, I know I bought... Hello, hello, hello. And hello again. This is the Chew Jelly Juice Shop. We all, we use only 100% natural Chew Jelly here, I assure you. Have a look. Use L to see my words. A red potion. Drink it to replenish your life energy. One drink washes away all weariness. Can I buy it in a bottle? Hmm? What? Don't tell me you don't have an empty bottle. I can't sell you any potion if you don't have something to carry it in. It's not my law, it's the law of physics! Oh, okay. Our restorative juices are specially made with plentiful portions of chew jelly. If you get your hands on any chew jelly, please, I beg of you, bring it to my shop. Uh, okay, farewell! Great. Empty bottles, the most important thing in the entire Zelda economy is empty bottles. Who else can I bother? There it is, okay. I'm gonna pretend I don't know what happens in here. Doo dee doo! <laughs> oh my! What a fine house full of beautiful, glittering pots! Now, what happens if I, uh. Oh, you can't see him, okay. Zoom in, zoom out, look around, okay. If I don't want to use the Wii U gamepad, I get it. So when I move the Wii U gamepad, it works, but I can also use this. Okay. Oh, uh, no, don't bother saving that. Uh, go away. Oh, can I get up there? That's weird. Thought you'd be able to hop up a little distance like that. Oh, that's where they have the, uh, Auctions. Okay, let's break things. Da -da -da. Can't do that. Okie dokie. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. You little weasel! Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced vases. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. Hmm, he thinks. Let's see. What will I do in light of this information? I know. I know. I disrespect your rules. Wait, isn't he going to say anything? He's, he's going to charge me as soon as I step out, isn't he? I have... I recognize no law. I am not a hero. I'm an anti-pot anti-hero. Take that. Wait just one moment. Do you think you could just break someone's vases and leave without paying for them? I must chortle at your naivete. Ho, ho. 
Those happen to be extremely high-class bone china vases that run a minimum of ten rupees each. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. Bows respectfully, oh man, I'm in trouble. Let me see now, that comes to a total of... 60 rupees. Oh, I shall accept your payment. Kabam! When you break someone else's vases, it's only natural that you compensate them for the loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because of your destructive tomfoolery. And now because of you, I'm going to be even richer. And I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? Don't stand around looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way. <laughs> the biggest giga chat in the entire Zelda bridge. Well, uh, I take that back. They, they they're pretty. They're giga chads in uh, Link's Awakening too. They don't. I, I, they don't let you get away with being a hell raising rep scallion. Oh, he's so emo. He's so edgy. He, they don't. E they don't even know about all the esoteric knowledge I have. You're looking for a sail. I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now. So shove off, will you? Go pester that guy in the massive coat. Or whatever. You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sail? Oh, okay. He doesn't have anything else to say. That's the... Oh, the guy in the massive coat. There we go. Look at that. That is, some. Um... Leaving some clues, okay. What's behind here? Oh, up, 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 up. What? Hello. Hello, ma'am. You look like a curious boy. Did you know there's an I island a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say that the island is the home of a tribe of people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves the Rito, and they say a sky spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, a person who's never left this little island, it may as well be a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if only I had my own boat. <laughs> Middle-aged lady wants to go on her hobbit adventure. Oh, sorry, I, I learned nothing from my previous experience, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna uh, break these clearly unowned pots and take the money that's in them. Totally normal behavior. <laughs> Oh wait, does she have anything else to say? Sometimes they have two things to say. Dragon Roost Island! I'd surely love to go there someday. They say it's only a little ways to the east. The Sky Dancing R Rito Tribe. A mystical sky spirit. Dragon Roost Island just sounds like a paradise floating in the oceans of my dreams. I wonder if we can see it from here. That would be some cool world building. Let's try it. Hello, I think we can see it. Okay, we can catch a tiny little hint of it. Oh, that's some nice, that's some nice exposition there. A couple more. There are a lot of little old ladies in uh, Windfall Island. Hello. She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Hmm. Now just what are you doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adult ears? We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man, so shoo! So anyway, you know that brick building at the top of the steps? Where the gentleman who lives there has such class? Oh, I know that mysterious photographer Lenzo is so dreamy! Oh, he makes my heart go aflutter! But do you think the rumor sh could be true? Is he actually devoted to someone special? He just seems too serious about his work to be involved with somebody. The lucky lady, who could she be? I wish someone would take a pictograph of the two of them together so we could see if the rumors are true. Oh, that'd be to die for. Okay, the brick building, where is he? Is he up there? Okay, that's the rich guy. 
That's the potion seller. I'll figure out the lay of the land sooner or later. Now let's talk to Sale Guy. My story is a strange one. I wait, wait a second. What should his Eskimo Eskimo dude's voice be? He's got like a bit of an Italian look to him. I think he I think he might be like a, a Monte Cristo type. I, I think he's an Italian. How do you do an Italian voice? He, he's Mario, that's who he is. My story is a strange one. I came across curse seas from a land far away. A land where bl the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? No, I don't need it. Oh, oh, dear me. Sadly, I have nothing else I could possibly sell you. I have not but my hoodie coat. And it is a keepsake from my dear, dear mother. Please buy that from me. Please purchase my only belonging. That is a very, very fine thing indeed. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. Blah, blah, blah. It's the boat sail. Press A while you're on your boat to pull it out and B to put it away. Now we can get a fast sail, right? Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. Windfall is a warm and bustling place, I deem. I do believe I shall settle and open my business here. Yes, yes, that is a plan. Oh, yes, I must say, if you happen to come across a delivery bag that looks handy for carrying products, let me know. The first thing I must do is find products to sell. What a can-do spirit. Nothing. <laughs> trapped maroon on a desert island with nothing but his mom's coat. Well, does he have anything to sell me? No, not yet. I think he has to get some wares first. Uh, can I sneak around here? Oh, he's not gonna let me. My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come in this way. Oh, no, no, no. Go over there. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> I love the little details. He shoes you out. Ah, a tavern. Barkeep, get me a beer. I'm, I, I have a one and two in my age, right? So that means I'm 21. Whoa, camera's being a little wonky. Ah, uh, oh, it's a bar mate! Welcome. Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. <laughs> oh, can I help you with something? Let's talk! <laughs> he has a crush on her, let's talk! When night falls around here, this place fills up with all these sour, swathy sailors. In fact, there's this little boat called the Shop Ship that shows up at night and cruises around the island selling things. I'm not sure what the story is with that. I guess what I'm trying to tell you here is that this town has two faces. The nice pretty one you see in the day, and the darker, shadier one you see at night. But I suppose that's too heavy a concept for a youngster like yourself, eh? My plans to hit on her are not going well. Maybe next time? Well, bye. Well, I'm an adventurer. I'm a warrior. Tell me more about this place. When that... Uh, okay, I think that's the same thing, yeah. Hmm. Will she impose consequences on me? Hello, allow me to sing you the, the song of my people. Yeah! That's right! I think there are exactly two people on the entire planet who will subject me to consequences. All right, let's have a look. Can I climb up there? Yes. Menu. No, 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 must, must, must break it. Go. Come on, you, come on. Yes, there it is. 
Oh, and that guy gets nervous every time I break something. Interesting. There. Now that my antisocial behavior is done. Oh, don't start on me like that. Sheesh. I thought we were having an earthquake or something. Uh, lately, I I've been hearing that monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. I can't believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped. Poor Maggie and Mila. It just breaks my heart to think about those two. Both of their fathers were desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Oh, the horribleness. I, I don't know what I'd do if I were kidnapped and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Just the thought of it sends shivers down my spine. Ugh. What's this? What are they advertising? Letters? Ah, beautiful little windfall rugs. Oh no, she has a frying pan! Get out of here before she gets tired of my antics! Okay, so maybe come back at night and we'll find out more. Hello. Just, just ponder in the ocean. I'll sit here and ponder it with you. Oh, I can't sit down. Oh well. People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say this is the island where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important, sure. But don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. Just enjoying the seas. Another Giga Chat. Okay, I talked to you. Definitely not Mario. Yeah, he has red overalls, not blue overalls. It's not Mario. Okay. Hmm. Who lives up here? Wow, this is pretty high up. Okay. Switch? What's it do? I can start. Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay, I gotta do something else. Oh! <laughs> How much would that hurt? That looks like it would hurt. Oh, one heart. Experiment time! It didn't hurt. Okay. I can drop like two stories before I before I have trouble. I didn't even have to do the rolling trick like you could do in Ocarina of Time. Is this... Pictogram guy? Yeah. Oh, wait. And then how many pictograms do I have anyway? Uh, album. <laughs> I'll keep that one. Put away. Now, does he notice it instantly or do I have to take it out? Mm. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. And while you're here, please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery. You're bound to find it quite exciting, young sir. I guarantee it. Hmm, now. My, but yours is a finely crafted picto box. I once had a picto box of that quality, but go ahead and witness my stunning pictograph gallery upstairs. Oh, it's the one that Tingle stole from him. So I guess if you came here without it, he'd be annoyed at you and kick you out. He doesn't want any scamps, but if, you, if you're if you into pictography, you can't be all that bad. Would he have noticed it if I didn't have it in my menu? Okay. So many questions. Oh, important question. Sir, will you impose consequences on me? Hiya! Nope, no consequences. Here we go. No money, okay. They don't reward you much for breaking all the pots. Oh!
<laughs> oh, ho, 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 aren't those some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than, none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Does this not make a fine pictograph? It is the epitome of pictography. Not too close up, yet not too zoomed out to discern the subject. It boasts perfect balance of scale, wouldn't you say? What is this a pictograph of, you ask? Why, those are creatures called choo-choos. They are said to have medicinal properties, so they are a most important resource treasured by sailors the world over. Why, there is even said to be an extremely rare species of them known as the blue choo-choo. It is only under very unusual circumstances that they are ever sighted. You would be most lucky to ever come across one, young sir. World building. Ooh, what's this? This is a pretty nice pictograph. This one is of a tiny rock islet resting far out in the seas southeast of here. Isn't it nice? It w there was a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped his pictograph without even thinking. That aside, I am certain this is someone's private cabana. Was the butler in it? Okay, so the butler's to the southeast. Ooh, this is an incredible pictograph. I saw this strange platform rising up out of the seas, seeming to claw at the sky. It makes for an even stranger silhouette. I wonder if such things still remain out there on the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, oh, if only I had the chance, I would love to see these things once again. It's Tingle's Tower. Hey, it's home! This is a pictograph of an isle I once visited. Isn't it a finely snapped shot? I took it in my younger days. It is Outset Island. It is the most delightful of fishing villages, innocent and rich with nature's bounty. It was there I met a beautiful young lass. Although I suppose she's probably not as young as she used to be these days. Is it my grandma? Did you... Are you my father? Does this not... No. <laughs> what kind of pictograph is this, you ask? One ill-fated day, misfortune befell me, and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted as the, at the whims of the waves. That's when I saw this monstrosity. This foul ship, veiled in mist and fading in and out of sight, like something of another world. Yes, my young sir, tis, nother, uh, tis none other than the ghost ship. The rumors I've heard tell of a man who researched the reaches of the sea. For the ghost ship faded in and out of sight, and that he drew a map of its movements. But it is said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of that cursed map, he died a most unexpected death. Chilling, truly chilling. Now, if one were able to find that map, then it might be possible to sneak onto the ghost ship and get the treasure that is said to lurk within its hull. What's the secret to snapping a fine pictograph, you ask? Why it is to stand back at a slight distance and to capture your subject frame in just the right manner. If the picto box is too zoomed in, you cannot discern what the subject is, correct? That is why such pictographs are rarely considered to be fine snapshots. Lazy, what's over here? This pictograph chills me to the bone. The Forsaken Fortress! This place lies to the northwest of our fair isle, but it has been enveloped in filthy dark clouds of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? If you value your life, young sir, then at the very least you should stay as far away from that place as you possibly can. It feels as if evil that is not of this world lies in wait there, biding its time. Ah, the conditions for a fine pictograph, you ask. Well now, 
Generally, you should capture your subject from the top of his or her head to the tips of his or her toes. Your subject should be framed fully within the pictograph's border. Essentially, you should just concentrate on getting your subject as large as possible within the frame of the pictograph. Oh, okay, these are tips for how to get, like, the statues later. Does he have a different tip every time? Or does he repeat his phrases? Conditions. Okay, I've heard, I've heard all this. This guy. Yeah, all right. Not a bad pictograph, hmm? Is that not a rather mysterious statue? The statue's home is on one of the Triangle Islands. It lies due south of here. There are a total of three Triangle Islands, the Northern, the Southern, and the Eastern Triangle Islands. Each of them has a statue such as this, standing on its shores. Ah, that'll be important later. Hello. He has treasure. And there's a back door. Okay. Boink. Well, let's see if he uh, comments if I take a pictograph of him. Uh, R? Uh-oh. Okay. Let him come back to his spot. And we'll see if he comments on me taking a pictograph. Yoo-hoo! Oh, and then after you put, uh, after he lets you in, then he gets out of the way. Let's see if this works. Will he comment on my pictograph? You see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictography capabilities is at long last near nearing fruition. But now I've grown old and have no real desire to leave this island. Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you perchance become my pictograph assistant? Goodbye! <laughs> well, I never kiss these days. You see, uh, uh, I changed my mind. I love nothing more than the art of pictography. Sure. Oh, ho! Really? Really and truly? My heart leaps at your enthusiasm. But I feel I must tell you, the path of an assistant must the path an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whosoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue, and promptly complete it complete it without hesitation. It will be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you still sure you want to do this? Forget it. Kids these days. You have to say yes twice. Sure. So absolutely, mister. Ah, you must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Link, is it? Very well, then. I shall issue three commands to you. On the day you complete all three tasks, you shall be my number one assistant, Link. Now then, for my first command, a love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? It is a collection of words of love, long unspoken and put into written form. Somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is in quite a quandary over the matter. I am of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have physical evidence, and thus your first task is to snap a pictograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. I, if you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. I'm a sneak thief. Catching this person in the act. Be sure to take a clear full body shot so I can see exactly what is going on. And of course, so as not to see, be seen, you should take the pictograph from a distance, yes? Now to prove you have completed this task, you should set your picto box to that and show me the pictograph. Clear, young sir? All right. So I've got a photograph. Ah! Who cares about saving the world? Sorry, King of Red Lions. 
We are photographing a uh, weird... We're taking weird requests from old people now. So if he's sending a love letter, what I probably have to do is watch a guy sneak up on here. And I bet it's the Mario-looking dude. Okay. Great. Let's just get it over with. Yes. I have already heard all this. Now, does he keep doing it after the first time? Okay. Where is Red Guy? How long will I have to wait for him to make the rounds? What I want to do is kind of sneak away. Come on, where are you, Red Guy? There he is. Okay. So he's going to be slowly ambling over here for a while. So... Let's set up my shot. Come on, red guy. Good, keep coming. Do, 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 do. And I'm guessing if I'm too close, he'll notice I'm there and he won't do it. And then I don't want to wait and have him. I wonder if he like chew me out for being like a little sneak, uh, sneak. gets you for a second. That's it. Okay. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. This might do it. Will you notice me if I'm this far away? I wish I could... Ah. R. Take the picture block. Yeah. The, the, the Wii U gamepad's a little annoying. I wish I could deactivate it. Come on, big guy. Is red guy coming? Yep. There he is. Ah, the things I do to not save the world. That's right, Mario. Just a little closer. I wonder if I have to be close enough to let him load. Okay, he's really close. He's really close. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, will he not do it with that sailor there? Right next to him? Come on. Come on, red guy. Yes. That's right. What a sneak. I'll take one more of him pulling out the letter. Now what? Let's see. Uh, it's Mario, right? Was that all I needed? Ah, I won't do the Mario voice. Was that all I needed to send? I didn't forget anything, did I? Interesting. Now, if I had interrupted him in the act of pulling out the letter, would he have gotten ticked at me? Okay, hold on. Photographer is... where? Uh, brick house. Oh, and a pie. Hey, blue rupee. I, I need him after that expense. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, mister! Hey, mister! I did it! I... I'm not a journalist. I'm... I, I hate journalists. I'm a... I'm a photographer. I got the scoop. Ho oh, ho! Oh, now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Hmm, now. They say love is blind. But what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. It's blackmail. I've been formed in a blackmail operation. What's this now? 
Look, it's me and a dead person. <laughs> he has no interest in it whatsoever. It's you! <laughs> He's unimpressed. Very well, next is my second command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the instant of pure fear on this individual's face in a pictograph. So tell me, do you think you can complete this task, young sir? I know who it is! I know who it is! Off I go! Wait, does he say anything else? You must search for the t town's most uh, timid and cowardly resident. You must witness this individual moment of weakness, flinching in fear. As the poor creature cowers, you must capture the moment of a pictograph. Since this person's face alone will not tell the complete story, you must snap a head-to-toe pictograph, so I can see the moment the fear reverberates through the soul. So tell me, do you think you can complete the mo this more dis difficult second task, young sir? Okay, because I have to do it in a limited amount of time. I have to do learn the quick draw. It's all training. It's all training for when I have to photograph monsters later. Uh... Punks. Quick! To the bar! Hey! <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? No, I can't sell you one. <laughs> Maybe next time. Alright, let's see here. I think the fa best method will be to break one of these, hop off, and then pull it out. Ready, set, go! Come on. That should do it, right? Head to toe. And his face? I'll take another one just to be safe. I don't know how persnickety they are. No, really? Okay. And go! That didn't do it. Man, those things are resilient. Uh oh, okay, come on, let go. <laughs> I'm too good. No, no! Okay. Watcha! Kung Fu! No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that good enough? No! Do I need to see his face? I think he said something about seeing his face and his toes. Okay. Hop off. This is tricky. Okay, that ought to do it. Yes. I have his face and his entire body in one shot. I'm curious if the crappy uh, photos would have done it. I'll show my worst one first and then see how persnickety he is. Hey, mister! Hey, mister! Am I a real photographer now? Oh, boy, oh, boy! Meanwhile, Ganondorf builds an entire empire to take over the world! Yes, okay. R? Does that work? Oh, -ho. oh -ho, now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Clearly the individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Fear is his constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed in a most admirable manner. Sadly, and it is me. Sadly. And is it me? Or is this chap quite the striking individual? Very good, young sir. And this means you have passed my second test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. What's he using my pictographs for? What am I? Am I part of a weird cult? Is this a deviant art thing? Very good. Next is, at long last, my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I say. Somewhere in town is a couple, a man and woman whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of the other, and yet for reasons unknown, the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other in the road, they each steal a brief, furtive glance at of the other. But they suppress the longing of their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town and my own desire to help these poor, these two poor souls, I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. 
These two are timid burglars in the House of Love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking their furtive thoughts. And, young Master Link, if and when, hope beyond hope, you manage to complete this third task, then you shall be my number one pupil. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 does that not excite you? Good luck to you, young sir. Let's get rid of the junk. I think it might be Giga Chad. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'm going to delete these. Uh, unable to connect to a Wi-Fi network. No more. I don't have Wi-Fi, but no more Wii U. Uh, hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can't share them on the Wii, Wii U-averse anymore unless they get, like, a homebrew server set up. I'm saving that. Race. And I'll wait to take a bunch of photos until I find the spot where you can get photos turned into statues. But wait a second, I have a delivery bag. Is that the is that the kind of delivery bag the guy was talking about? Alright, what's this guy have to say? Still sending his unwanted letters, okay. And the punk. Is she the girl? I think it's Giga Chat. I think Giga Chat is the guy. And then there's some girl he walks by, and they look at each other. And it's one of the younger girls. Uh, where's Giga Chad? There he is. Okay, we'll have to walk with Giga Chad and then get up ahead of him. Well, can I walk with you, dude? Okay. It's time to stroll with Giga Chad. Let's go. Um, hello? Yes. Slowly scrolling. The stride. <laughs> Link's doing the version walk, and he's trying to learn the Chad stride. No, don't stop him. Let him walk. Uh, okay, I'm just going to stay out of his way. And this guy! <laughs> Everything is conspiring to slow me down. Okay. All right. Let's stay ahead of him. I'm going to keep an eye out for when he's in the proximity of a young woman. I'm pretty sure he's the guy. Keep walking, dude. Yeah, I've got to be far away from him or he stops to look. It's not her, is it? No, she's uh, she's the one that... Uh, I, I, uh, metagame knowledge, the so spoiler, she's the one that Pictograph Guy is crushing on. Then he might... It might be the girl in the orange dress. Come on, big guy. Okay, keep an eye on Chad. He, he even has the hair right. He has the po poofy, pointy hair that refuses to flutter in the wind. Oh, look! It's Virgin! Here's... <laughs> Chad, come meet Virgin. He needs you to encourage him, Chad. Come on, Chad, keep going. All right, now is it is it the girl in the orange dress? Oh no, okay, went that way. Uh, sneak around. looks like the right path. Okay, let's get over here. I don't know how far away I have to be. I think I've got, I think I've got, no, stupid kids. No, no, this is awful. You children are despicable. Okay, down here maybe? Is it? What? They didn't look at each other. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm capturing the intimate moments of these NPCs. I wish someone would notice it. Okay, he's the one who's noticing her outfit. It all ties together. 
Notice me, senpai. I've done it! I'm a real photographer now! Let's see. You must capture in a pictograph to see a couple at that frozen moment when they think uh, their furtive thoughts of one another. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, yes, there's one more thing. Be sure to capture them both in perfect full-body shots. Their faces alone will not tell the full story of their love. Oh, -ho, this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden, but thriving. Even I, who have lived in this town for so many long years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Link. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set you to. My doubts about you have all been cleared up. I shall hereby by be proud to call you my assistant, Link. And no assistant of mine will be seen going around taking pictographs in monochrome. Not in a million years. So here, allow me to present you with this picto box. Oh yeah, you got a deluxe picto box, a gift from Lenzo, commemorating your becoming his assistant. It can take color pictographs. Set it and use it. To Y, X, or R. <laughs> Until now, you could only take black and white pictographs, but now you can take color pictographs, allowing you to show the world as it was meant to be seen. Now, go out there and snap pictographs. Snap them in color for me. For all the years I spent unable to do so, fulfill my life's ambition. Go, Link. Or something like that. I didn't see the last part. Ah, young Link, are pictographs not the most divine of creations? You know it is true, my young sir. You two must snap and snap and snap pictographs until you, like me, finally arrive at the very pinnacle of pictography. Okay. Let's, uh, get a selfie. How do I... How do I do the selfie? Look around. Switch. There we go. Switch. Er, ooh, ooh, um. Oh, okay, you can use the control stick. Happy. Uh, sighing, gritting. Surprise, that's the best one. Okay, wait, where is he? Oh, I can't get him in the shot. No, don't save that. Okay, I'll wait to photograph him until later. I want to save uh, a lot of slots for the bosses and weird things I need. Okie dokie. I'll have to wait till night. Uh, oh, hello, bomb game guy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bomb game's worth playing. Apparently that's what uh, ends most people's speedruns of this game. Hello. You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though. So if the wind blew in just the right direction again, we just have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. Hmm, looks like a westerly wind is blowing now. Okay. So we need, uh, we need the Wind Waker. That's weird. It's like a little false door. And then... Yeah, there's one of the carousels. Okay, we'll come back to that when I have the power to adjust the winds. Let's play a game. And make some moolah. Save. Why can't I save? Can't save here? Welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? No, thank you. 
No, whatever. Come back soon. Oh, I'm not. Eh. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You wanna play or what? Yeah. Yeah, okay, then, uh, <laughs> Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvalsky. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. So now shows that schools of deadly giant squids are approaching. Our ships prepare for battle. Huh? What? Where? Ah I see. The fiends approach. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children of the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But we found you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use L to move the cursor and A to fire a cannon blast. May your aim be true, that is all. That is all the instruction you need. Is that clear, sailor? What's going on? Eh. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. <laughs> he just repeats it, fuck me. <laughs> Is that clear, sir? Aye, aye, sir. Excellent! So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all of the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight as bravely! Okay, so it's Battleship, so I have to think about how to game this. Uh, the best way is to follow a grid pattern to eliminate the small guy. And then I might try to, like, scatter my shots, trying to hope to, like... Splish. No, okay. Splish. Nope. Splish. No. Splish. Splish. Nothing. Splish. Nothing. Splish. Come on. Splish. Splish. Gotcha. Splish. No. Splish. No. Splish. No. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, we got we got the medium one. That means there's a two and a four out here. I think. Maybe down here. Splish, splish, splish. Uh, kaboom. kaboom, okay. Splish, nope. Kaboom, yes. Splish, okay. I don't have enough shots, great. Splish, splish, oh! That was tricky. I should have been able to discern that, yeah, because there was a two and a three. There we go. I thought that was weird. Alright, alright. Uh, bad news, uh, sailor. The enemies have retreated or something. It's ten rupees per game for kids. Wanna try again? I'm a gambler man! Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, okay. Alright, yeah, so watch out for that. Splish. Okay. Splish. Three. Okay. Okay, good. We're getting good luck. Nope. Two. Okay. We're looking for the four. They okay, either tucked him down here or up here. Let's look around up here. Oh, crap. Think. One, two, three, one, two, three. He's not there. He could be here. Nope, okay, he's not there. He could be hiding here. Uh, that would catch him. Nope, okay, he can't be there. So he's either down here. No. Dang it, okay, 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 okay. Think. Maybe along here. One, two, three, one, two, three. That would get him. Oh, he's doing this trick again, okay. Two, three. Got him, okay. Woo! I didn't do it in 20 shots, okay. <laughs> Excellent work, sailor! Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor! Hooray! Oh, hooray! Yeah! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor! 
Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. <laughs> you got a piece of heart. You've collected a total of two pieces. Get two more to complete another heart container. So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And, uh, don't, don't forget your umbrella. Nothing on your way out the door. Yeah. Eh. It's 10 rupees a game for kids. You want to play or what? Okay, now what's it give you after that? Does it give you, like, a bunch of rupees? Like, what do you, what do, you do if you do it in 20? The world wants to know. Kaboom! Oh, pfft. first hit. Okay. Splish. Nope. Splish. Nope. Bang. What? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh. Splish. Splish. They do like to use that trick of having a cup, two of them sit next together to like psych Splish. you out, right? Yeah, let's. Splish. Okay, not that. Uh, We're looking for three and four. Splish. 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 Okay, great. We're not gonna make it. Splish. 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 Okay, nabbit. Where are they? Kaboom! Okay. Splish. Nope. Splish. No. Kaboom! Kaboom! It's four. Splish. Kaboom! Okay, great. Uh, damn, bull my money away. I'm gonna spread out my shots a little bit more. As long as I'm still using the grid pattern. Ding. Okay. Yes. Okay. Four. So we're looking for three guy and two guy. It's either like they're sneaky in the middle. Oh, come on. Okay, how about over here? Ugh! What? Oh, they had them all grouped up. Ah! Okay, here's my question When do they generate it? Do they generate it when I load the game? Cause, cause, could I cheese it? Could I do the thing where I like, find out where they are, reset, and would they be there that way the next time? Can't be down there. Can't be down here horizontally. Could be vertically though. Could be along here. They do the same hiding pattern. Nope. Okay, they're not doing the hiding alongside trick, are they? Nope. Great. Okay. Looking for a four and a three, and we don't have enough shots. Splish. Kaboom! Splish. Kaboom! They really do like to hide them together. Okay. Let's try this. So, uh, I'll just remember. Yeah, three and two in the right, upper right corner. All right, options. 
Is it possible to cheese the game that way? No thanks. No, whatever. Come back soon or not. Uh-huh. How do you go to the menu? Uh, I don't want to... What? How do you go to the menu? You have to, like, close the software and start again? There's no way to, like, reset it? Huh. Okay, we're gonna test this theory. So if it's completely different this time, that means that... Um, hello? There we go. If it's completely different this time, that means they load a different map every time you talk to him, and there's no way, easy way to cheese it. It's like, uh, you can easily cheese the, uh, Eye of Truth minigame if you just m memorize the pattern and ab abuse the save system. Which feels like cheating, but then again, it's gambling. Is it cheating if you're cheating a casino? There's a really cool thing where they put the base of the sound through the Wii U gamepad and some of the sound effects through the Wii U gamepad and the regular sound effect through the system, so... I don't know, Nintendo's always doing really weird and different things. You can tell that the Wii U was sort of like their, uh, draft version of the Nintendo Switch. What happened? Didn't I save? Oh, that look in your eye! So you've found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hall and press A to climb aboard! Hoist a sail! You've got with A to get moving! The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use L to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly to into the sail. You can always press B to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? No. I see. Then allow me to explain again. I'm next to my oar. Blah, 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 Did you understand all that? Yes. Ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea, a few landmarks will go by. You will be at the mercy of your sea. Oh, with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked a place we should currently be heading for, for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, select map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game with plush and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let us carry to the east. No. <laughs> I don't care about my sister. Do you know any more rumors? Not even for two rupees. Have some rupees. One whole rupee each. Still not gonna tell you anything. Yeah, we would never tell you about how every night all the grown-ups meet up in that old, that one house and shout, Bid! 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 Till they're hoarse. They say it's an auction or something. They must really want those Piece of art, or the, the whatchamacallit, useful sale. <gasps> I want the speedy sale! Okay, so in... Why? In GameCube, uh, you only get the normal sale, which means you spend, like, so much time floating around the ocean, and they have a speedy sale in the remake, so we'll try to get that. But, first we're gonna see if we successfully cheated the system. Yeah, it spawns you next to King of Red Lions, not next to the dude. Hey. I doubt they had something that easy to cheese. I bet they thought of something different, like it loads a random map every time you talk to him. Come on. No, okay, it didn't work. Splish, 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 splish. Oh, good grief. Splish, 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 splish. <laughs> Splish. Splish. How does anyone do this? Okay. Kaboom. Kaboom. 
I mean, what do you get for breaking the record? Is it another piece of art? That would be worth it. Whoa, okay, wait, wait, all right. I got four, but I didn't kill the big one. So it's like the battleship trick, but because you know that it didn't kill them, that means that there's gotta be one over here. Okay, four, and then I bet two's going this way. No. Wow, I even got two in a row, and I wasted all my time on the first one. Okay, they love, they love putting them together, though, so I'll just try to remember that. Huh, okay. Splish. Fine. Corners. I wonder if it's better to start in the corners or the opposite pattern. Does it make a difference? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would, I imagine that wouldn't make a difference unless there's a math nerd who would tell me otherwise. Okay, one. Kaboom. Two. Nope. But, since I know they seem to really, really love having them hang out together, let's try... Splish. No. Splish. No, okay. I don't think they did it this time. Oh, wait, is the pattern different? The pattern is different, isn't it? Yeah, so I wasted some shots. Or I'm, I'm not using the grid optimally. Dang it. Okay. Oh, and they did it again. Okay. So they do like doing that, I just can't assume it. run out of money. I'll, I'll come crawling back to the King Splish. of Red Lions. Can I borrow some cash? I gambled Splish. it. I'm playing Battleship. Splish. Do they like the corners? Splish. 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 Kaboom. Kaboom, okay. Splish. Oh, okay. Nerve-wracking. Okay. Knowing that they like to put them together. Splish. No. Splish. Up there, there's some likely spots. Splish. Okay. Okay. Splish. Splish. Oh, come on. Kaboom. Two. Okay, so we've eliminated the two and we've eliminated the three. I bet the four is hanging out. Splish. Splish. Think. Splish. Think, Kimo Sabe. I can spot Splish. down here. No. I can spot in here. No. Uh, I'm out. Yeah, I would have had him. Oh, it's a hard little game. They need to give me like three more shots or something. Well, I, it doesn't help if I'm trying to break the record. Question is, are they being sneaky and hiding four down there? Nope. Are they hiding four here. Oh, they are. What? Three. We got two and three. Where could four be? Corners, maybe. Hello. We're gonna make it. Yes. Oh, we did it. Excellent work, Sela. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so very proud. The children on this island would like to say thank you, Sela. Oh, hooray, yay, yeah, yay. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Sailor. What's this? This is our thanks to you. It has been passed down on our island for many years. So don't tell the island elder, okay? Here, please accept this treasure chart. Yes, I knew it was important. You got a treasure chart. Open this chart on the map screen and a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to that area and use the chart to find the treasure. So uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me and uh, don't, don't forget your umbrella and nothing on your way out the door. And I think you get like 100 rupees or something for doing it again. Yeah.
10 rupees per game. No thanks. Okay. I don't know if that's the easiest way to cheese money or not. You see, I probably spent, what, like 50 rupees? I don't know, that might be worth it. If you win 100 rupees and play three games. Do you have anything to say now? Actually, there's a fella I've had my eye on lately. He's got such a distinguished chin. And he's always walking back and forth with his chad stride. Okie dokie. Is this? Yes, here we go. She like a little old lady or something weird about her? The school teacher, okay. You will never educate me! I refuse to learn anything! I'm gonna be illiterate! I don't need to read books! Yep. Oh, I can't break them, okay. Oh look, it's the it's the punk kids. They have their drawings on the wall. There's a drawing of her. And what's this? Words of joy. Breathe deep and read it loud and proud. Joy is hidden in all places of the world. You must widen your eyes and search for it. The first joy you find earns you a present. With 20, you become a joy steward. With 40, you find a map to great treasure. Aren't all of these things joyous? Me, you, we'll all be full of joy. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Okay, so we've got to, like, find 40 joy pendants. Joy steward, treasure. Okay. I gotta kill- I must slaughter 40 creatures to satisfy her. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Mary's School of Joy! I don't think I've ever seen your face around here, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? What can I do for you on this fine day? Nothing. I see. Oh, uh, no. We need to talk. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? Twenty years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader? That little boy named Ivan and talk some sense to him for me? Please, young man, for me. Sorry, lady. Aww. Oh, that does not make me joyful. <laughs> they punish you by making you hear everything again, but I'm so curious what they say when I'm a jerk. Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. They're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck, young man. Okay, and then we just go back to that. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ivan, I must defeat you in mortal combat to get you to go to the Joy School. You, I'm the truancy officer. Why aren't you in school, young man? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees, huh? Do ya? Don't let me. Uh, don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to, cause Mrs. Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four, the Killer Bees. You think we'd listen to a chump like you? But, I'll tell you what, bud. If you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? Leave me alone. <laughs> you wimpy. Idiot! <laughs> oh! He's pissed. He wanted a challenge. Oh, he doesn't want to say anything to me anymore. 
Interesting. I broke his heart. All he wanted was for an older young man, an older boy to bond with. A fellow of adventure with mischief in his soul. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, let's see here. Do we, uh... Bag of a teacher. What challenge? I'll take you on! Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. You're gonna go hide somewhere. We're gonna go hide somewhere. And if you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try to catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing. And we won't leave this island. So look for us around in the shadows, behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Play and hide and seek. Here we go, let's do it. Okay, wait a second. I don't know if where they run actually matters. I think they just spawn somewhere. Must be treasure in that. No, really? Just run? No, it dropped down there. Anything over there? Okay, I think I've been that. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Let's start our search. Don't. Go away. <laughs> it's every time. On the, on the second playthrough, I'm telling him no. Could they be? No, I don't think so. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, okay. He's kind of trapped, though. Now, how, now, sometimes if you do that, the camera follows it. Oh. Oh. Okay, don't be an idiot. Get down. Now, where does he go? Oh, he does have a spot, okay. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Nothing can beat the rolling attack. So it's hide and seek and tag. Bonk, okay. Aw, lame! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you ain't caught everybody yet. Oh, that sneak. I'm gonna get him last. That's a clever trick. What a Giga Chad hiding spot on top of the tree. Okay. I'm coming back for you. Let's see, on the dock maybe? No, I don't see him. Okay, moody boy. They're not indoors. No. Gravestone, maybe? Yes. Blinker! Fine. Yep. Go. Have a drink. Go! Yeah. Yeah, you got me! You ain't nice. Nope. I'm a dick. No, no. Don't talk to me. Alright. Let's see. Next is uh, Bull Cut Boy. Doors. No, I don't see him over there either. Okay, what about up on that like uh, walkway area? Yeah.
Oh, I bet this is the back entrance to Rich Boy. Okay. I'll come back to that. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Sailor. Yep, the sailor's like us. The wind's our whole life. It should be nice if a fair wind blew today. Hmm, it's a westerly wind that's blowing now. If you were to sail where this wind would take you, you'd end up straight, uh, straight shot for Dragon Roost Island. But I suppose telling you that to a non-sailor like yourself is a bit pointless, eh? Well, I'm a sailor. Right, look, I'm wearing a sailor scout outfit. Wait a second, okay. There's him. I forgot how everything interconnects. That leads out to that kind of like wraparound area. This leads to the top of the gate. Probably a good way to get him. Where are some other hideaways? There's a hideaway back there. I'll go check there. Up there. Yeah. Up there. That's just a ladder to the same spot. This ramp down here. That interconnects here. Okay. Very interconnected. Ah. Uh, yep. On the ledge, maybe. Ah. He is me. This is the path uh, Giga Chad takes. Right here. Dang, the blue boy's pretty well hidden. Okay, let's think. Buildings and such. That deck. Okay, that deckage looks a little suspicious, right? I jump onto that somehow. Yeah, okay. That's the actual, like, platform to the window. How do I get there? Will they get ticked at me if I, uh, go indoors to look for them? Will it reset? That's what I want to know. Get. If it resets, it resets. Oh, 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 I got it. Okay. In there. Ooh, come on. And it won't let me, like, uh, scout around there. They know what I'm trying to do. They're trying. I'm trying to do the Baldur's Gate thing. Okay, well, I just don't think he's there then. Oh shoot, okay. Let's have, I guess I'll have to use process of elimination. And make sure it's not something stupid like behind a tree or something that I looked at briefly. Okay, here there's only two paths. That path. 
passable. I don't think it's passable at all. That's just Giga Chad's path. Okay, eliminate Giga Chad's path. Main area. I'm doing something sneaky like behind behind here. Hidden as out here. No? Okay. We'll double check. Yeah, that's uh, the lady who loves Dragon Roost Island. Old guy who enjoys the ocean. Not like doing something stupid like hiding behind the tree or the rock. No? Okay. Okay, ladder two. There. Camera yep. shop. But the ladders just connect to the ledge. Yeah, the ladders just connect to the ledge. Nothing stupid like hiding in the hallway, right? Man, you think that the leader would be the hardest one to find. Okay. What's that? Is the roofs? Okay. Talk to Dancing Elvis guy, that's where I found one of the, the pigs. Alright, maybe the jail. Try the jail next. So, yep, I've eliminated all that. Aha! Oh. Off he goes to get a bull cut. Come back here, nerd! Give me your lunch money! You're awesome! Hey! I knew you were a good kid! Wow, you're pretty good, bud. But I'm wondering if you can catch four of us at this rate. And I bet Ivan says something different if you catch him, uh, if you don't catch him last. Okay. I don't think I can climb him. Do I have to shake him out of the tree? Ah. Don't interact with the bum. Boink. There you go. I bet he's a speed up demon too. There he is. The artful dodger. Whoa, okay. Oh, come on. Doink! And I'm getting stuck and clipping into the wall. Yeah, you got me. Ah, I can't believe it. You found all four of us, and you caught us all, too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide-and-seeking skills, here, take this, bud. I made friends! You got a piece of heart. You've collected three so far. Collect one more to increase your life energy. Uh, this is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. To our butt, the hide-and-seek master! And one more thing. We need to we need you to apologize to Mrs. Marie for us, alright? We're counting on you, bud. Yeah! You're the coolest, bud! Hmm, how you doing? You ain't bad. Where's Oinker? You're amazing, bud. You're the greatest. I made friends. Okay. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You 
can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spare change. Ayo! You got a purple rupee. That's worth 50 rupees. That's just great. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Wh why? Wh wh wait, are you, are... <laughs> what? Why? What am I... Why am I not supposed to tell anybody? What can I do for you on this fine day? We talk. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man, and your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Aw, she just encourages the children. Can I offer her a pendant? Let me think. Uh, many. Do I have one? Yes, I do. Yeah? Uh, taking this out here won't do anything. Oh, in front of her? Really? Can't I give you a joy pendant? Do I have to come back later? I see. I wonder if it doesn't trigger until after you've left the island or something. Hey, sounds like you apologize to teach for us. Good old Mrs. Marie. Speaking of, bud, did you know it's going to be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon? Boss! Oh, oh, boss! You think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid. We're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but Teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into these days? What's she call them? Joy pendants? Really? Where do you think we find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to Teach as a present. And she'd be all happy. Hey, now I think about it. When I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on top of some tree in town. What was that? Maybe you that's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. Oh, same conversation. The tree, okay. Do -do 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 -do. I already have one because I murdered a moblin, but let's get two. Never offer to help homeless old men. Really? I have to climb it? He saw it sparkling in a tree, and that was the tree he climbed. So maybe a different tree? Or do I have to jump for it myself? I don't see it spawn there. Try the good old. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm stuck on that, but I've got one. He saw it sparkling in the tree, or he saw it while he was in the tree. Oh wait, that jerk. How did he manage to do that? But I guess he is an all right guy. What is he talking about? You pesky little brat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody. Not you, not anybody. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? And I couldn't care less. Jerk. You pesky little brat. So he said something about somebody before and I didn't catch it. I should have paid attention. Okay. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how- Completely! Oh, really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of, and show it to me. If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win, and I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me the picnic room. Perfectly round, pale thing, okay. I mean, it's the moon, right? But uh, I imagine Link running off 
photographing a plate, coming back to show him, Look! I found it! Is this the thing? I want to see what happens. I'm going to do it. I need a plate right away. Your roundest and shiniest, ma'am. It's for an urgent job. No, no plates. Curse you, ma'am. How can you not have a place? What kind of establishment is this? Okay. Uh, let's drop off the joy pendant. Be what? Uh, well now can I offer her something? Oh my dear, that's a joy pendant! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else! And that, why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around here. Oh my, yes. I will happily take a single one from you. No, no. I insist. Only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties! I'm so joyful! It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Hey, you got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise! And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. <laughs> oh, you're the fine young gentleman who gave me a joy pendant. How could I forget? How many did you give me again? One? Ah, my, but wasn't that nice. So, what can I do for you, young man? Nothing. I see. <laughs> and then does she just say, uh, you're gonna... What would you like to talk about? Pendants. Although I may be a school teacher, I have a certain flair about me, don't you think? And let me tell you, I love jewelry more than anything else in the world. Oh, and why not? It's not like I can't afford it. Why, I have so much cash I can even afford my own Oasis ca Cabana. She owns the Cabana. Okay. But I happen to be after a very particular kind of jewelry. You see, lately I have been rather taken with collecting joy pendants. Those are very rare trinkets that you can't buy at any store. They're quite amazing. By their color and their shape, I feel as if I was destined to gather them. If you have any, please show them to me. Just set them to Y, X, or R. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, talk to me about volunteering. Tell me, dear, do you know about the Joyous Volunteer Association and the work they do? The association's objective is to decorate our little town of Windfall with flowers and other small decorative items to make our town a better, more joyous place. If you must know, the society came into being when the shopmaster Zunari arrived here. He heard about my efforts to spread joy, and it moved him deeply. He asked himself, is there nothing a poor, worthless merchant such as myself might do to make this a better place? And then suddenly his eyes were opened. That's when I gave him a little advice. Do something that only you can do. Yes, that's what I told him, dear. It was after that that he began to show an interest in volunteer activities. He apparently came from a very cold place. But let me tell you something. Despite his appearance, that Zunari is definitely one hot volunteer. Okay, the Eskimo, all right. Uh, talk to me about the kids. You've seen that rascally gang of four walking around the plaza out there, as if they own the place, haven't you, dear? Apparently, they came up with the most suitable of names for their little gang, or so I've heard. We be tough, we be bad, we be the toughest, baddest boys in town. Yeah, we're the killer bees, or when something like that. I guess they were looking for something of a fierce name for themselves. They sort of failed spectacularly, if you ask me. It must be nice to be young. Oh, there's a picture on the wall. Hold on. Ah, uh, pictograph. No, 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 no. What's it a picture of? Oh, it's a picture of one of the maybe one of the tipsters and a piggy. Cool. Alright. 
Well, I don't have any more joy pendants. Let's, uh, let's harass the rich guy. Talk to the sailor. I wonder where they did see a joy pendant in a tree. I guess I'm just supposed to run around bonking my head in the trees, see if I get one. That's a little suspicious, too. And who else has treasure? Okay, the uh, camera guy has treasure. like you will do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila, was taken away from me to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to help me rescue my precious daughter? No way. <laughs> my life cannot get worse. My back has been aching fiercely of late. If only I were ten years younger. I guess I kind of owe you for breaking the pots, right? Wonder about the wisdom. Would you lend a hand to rescue my precious daughter? Sure. You are a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune to see her safety. Uh, to, for her safety. All right. Sweet, sweet. Well, you think that? What do you think of the chances for my daughter's rescue? They say the place is called the Forsaken Fortress. Go now, my daughter Mila waits for a hero. Hmm, what is it? You look like you want something. Don't tell me you need some funds to get you started. Yes, I do. You want money? Oh, is that a fact? Money, huh? In that case... I must first test your resolve. Oh, that sneak. As you can see, I've placed the red rupees in three of my vases downstairs. So, which vases are they in? Oh, that's so sneaky. So even if you didn't just do it normally, you would have done it for the game, and then he would have charged you. <laughs> even if you're a good boy, he gets you. get 60 rupees and then does he charge you 80 rupees let's find out just wait just one moment yep i must churl at your naivete 10 rupees each Total of 80 rupees. <laughs> ah, I shall accept your payment. <laughs> okay, so it's like a gamble. Interesting. Yeah, you ought to quit while you're ahead. Okay. Now what's he see if I say I don't want his stinking money? And then I gotta find a way to sneak into the back of uh, Photography Boy's house. Of course, I'm a hell raising rapscallion, so I could see where that was going. But that is so cool. If you're a good little boy, he still gets you. 
By the way, it might interest you to know that I've been renting out the first floor of my home as a so-called auction house. Of course, the auctions are held in the evenings, after dark. Oh, oh, oh. Do I sense more than a little interest? Do you wish to join in as well? Oh, he only does it the one time? Okay. We only play the game once, okay. And if you uh, break them when you have no money, he's really ticked. Maybe it's like once per day you can play the game. Okay, photography guy. I get a photo of the moon. Our edgy boy. You don't have any wares, do you? And I guess I should like shake the trees too. some cool task for him. So is it like a thing I can go and find or is it a thing we have to earn from him? Can't help that guy yet. There. I don't think so. Okay. We might be ready to head then. I don't think it'll I don't think it'll turn to nighttime yet. I think you have to be out at sea for that to trigger. And I don't have the wind waker. I don't have an empty bottle. Yeah. Let's get ahead. Yep. Well, let's talk to the tipsters one more time. Oh, they don't have another tip. Okay. So they do have more than one tip. Good enough. And then let's see. Sail. Where's my sail? Oh, the message in a bottle. Uh, oh. Let's see, which one is it? Why? Error code, under, unable to find a Wi-Fi network. Please confirm that your Wi-Fi network has been set up. Okay. Hmm. Hey, King of Red Lions! What is Wi-Fi? What is the Wii U network? Oh, I'm sorry, my lad. The Wii U network is a bygone age. Uh, washed away in the floods of Hyrule, it's gone forever. Why do you hesitate so? Quickly, come next to me and then press A to climb in. I sense a little passive aggressiveness. Set sail. Oh yeah! Sail in the ocean blue. And you can see Dragon Roost Island the whole way. Okay, now how do you hop? Okay, that's how you take photographs. There, you, you hop with R. I don't have a cannon yet. It's really nice that you can see kind of like the outline of the, of the islands on the horizon. Ooh. Okay, now are you... It's like coins for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get hurt if you bonk into them. Something to make it a little bit more... 
I have memories as a child of listening to books on tape while playing this game because the, the ocean sections were so long. So I just get through like a few chapters of the book. I was very ADHD. Oh, who's that? Bad guys. All right, let's fight them. Woo, okay. How do I get out? Hello there, friend. <laughs> Insta kill. Oh, I lost this thing though. Okay. Whoa. Okay, just a blue beat. That's like five. Okay. So I want to keep save them so I can get their joy pendants. Uh, hi, pal. Does he, does he, like, roast me if I'm, like, swimming in the ocean? What is the matter, Link? Is this the place you should be seeking? Is the place you should be seeking not marked on your sea chart? Hint, hint. And people think that Navi is to the point. Oh, hello. Oh, no, not that. No, let's do that. Okay, yeah, you have to jump or it just goes up and it. Oh, put away. Oh, that's the hardest thing. Okay. You to kind of like use your speed. What are they attached to? I guess there's bedrock. Oh, and there's the merchant ship. Okay. Oh, great. I don't like that. Come over here so I don't knock you off. Yeah, I want your joy pendant. No! Dang it! Oh, well. I got a little dinky treasure chest. Maybe it has a joy pendant in it. Oh, I don't have that supercharge yet. Let's get a little cash. Open up. Hey, Red Rupee, what a pleasant surprise. I like to imagine it's him thinking that, right? Like, he's just so happy all the time. Uh, ships are over there, but I can't change the, uh, the wind currents, so let's keep heading. We will take us... We will finally go where the story wants us to go. I guess. Oh, no. R. Okay, let's not say how hard to jump. So relaxing, chill vibes. Did get anything there? I don't remember this in the game before. I wonder if they added it. There, on the horizon. That is our destination link. Dragon Roost Island. Oh yeah, it's a bop. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island uh, about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. 
Uh, first, conduct in three, four, I. Do not touch L. Just try to match the riz rhythm by tilting R up, down, and right. Up, down, right. Up, down. Oh yeah, you have to get the rhythm right. Okay, okay, hold on. Up, down, right. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, 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 all right. Up, down, right. Nope. Up, down, right. And you don't, have to, you don't have to get the rhythm exact. You just have to get it before the timer. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. Hold L to change the rhythm, then match the rhythm in two. Up, right, left, down. Up, right, left, down. That's it, Lin. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct uh, with it in 6-4 time by tilting L right. You will do well to remember that. I got the Wind Waker. You received the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can, power the, you can borrow the power of the gods. Use R to conduct. Don't, til, uh, don't til, tilt L to conduct in 3-4 time. Hold L left to conduct in 4-4 four, four time. Hold uh, L right to conduct in 6-4 time. This island has been a calm and peaceful place for as long as I have known it. What could have happened to it? Ask the winged Rito tribes people about the Sky Spirit, Olu. We cannot set sail again until you have the pearl. Okay, railroads. Uh, I want to buy some stuff. Uh-oh. Um, I gotta be careful. Yeah, I think I can climb onto that shore. Yo, yo. Don't go away. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, cabbie. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's buy some bait. Oh! Let's see. Thank you as always. If anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off of you. Which would prefer to buy something. Now yeah, let's buy a bunch. Thank you. Thank you. Seven points. Thank you. I mean, what else am I going to use my money on, right? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. You don't need any more than you already have. I'm full Bye. up, okay. Bye, come again. Okay. Let's poke around. Oh, I can't bonk the trees, can I? Yes, I can. But do they have anything? Cool. Oh, some rupees in it. Nice. Like it's healing me. Danger. Do not attack the explosive fruit. I do what I want. They blow up instantly. Okay, it takes a little charge. <laughs> Next person's in trouble. Hello. I know what to do. Yikes. Yep. Got it, okay. <gasps> Ooh, a yellow rupee, and that's uh, 10 rupees? Yes. Okay, I think it's only in this game. Now what? You, okay. Let's clear some paths. Hello, what's that? Rock? Okay. Oh, no, I wanted to read you. Dang it. It probably was going to say something about picking them up. If the signs heal and come back, or are they gone forever? I bet they come back. That one didn't come back. 
maybe you have to like save and exit or something. Okay, what about you? Mail center. That way, but the bridge's out, okay. I figure it out. Dang, I can afford to break some more pots. That's how I get a prize, all right. I don't want to do anything over here first. Those rocks look a little suspicious. Wind Shrine Mail Center. Oh, I can't do anything here yet. This is where you meet one of the guides. Oh, the crab went away, okay. Can you meet him right now? Up left, right. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Learn the Wind's Requiem. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zephyrus. I'm the god of the wind. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. If you want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos has miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> okay. Yes, and then we want to find Cyclos, because Cyclos is the guy who lets us teleport. And then we don't have... The, well, you, uh, you don't have to sail, or you don't get to sail, uh, depending on your perspective. Let's see. Can't do anything up there yet. I'll break that rock. <laughs> the sound bounced. Go. Oh yeah, time for the most useful ability in the game. Dead end. <laughs> or maybe he has like Mission Impossible music playing his head. <laughs> oh, can't play on fire. Don't be an idiot. There we go. How did they even manage that? All right. What if I threw it and then ran under there real quick? Would I need to get insta-killed? Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. Okay. Hey, it's a Rito! Link? Link, is that you? What was my voice for this guy? He's just kind of like a regular Joe. It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say. You've traveled far for one with no wing. And your sister, is she... Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain the chief will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Airy. Oh yeah, it's like an eagle's Airy. It's settled then. 
I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Always befriend your mailman. <laughs> Break their pots immediately. That's this is how we make friends on Outset Island. I, I swear. The green outfit and breaking pots. Those are our ancient cultural traditions. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Baloo's anger? Ah, oh, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall, shoot, we shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the Sky Spirit, Baloo. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer appro approach him. This continues. The fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Baloo on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Oh yeah! What a good kid! Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever give it getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet my son? Oh yeah, they don't let you say no. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give you. I, I, some, I have something I wish you to give my son. A young girl named Medl, Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. Hey, you got a delivery bag. Finely crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Uh, select it on the item screen, see what you have inside. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Baloo to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. That's nice, they give you like a little kid task, but then you end up solving the big problem anyway. Okay. Well, hold on, I want to see what we've got. Uh, how do I sign it? I guess I don't have any items in here right now, okay. Never mind. Map. Okay, I see, uh, Outset Island, Windfall Island, Forsaken Fortress, and... Uh, Dragon Roost on my map. Bottles. I don't have any bottles. Okay. Oh, Tingle has all the bottles. Great. If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no, there's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that, and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chief will think of something. Sorry to tell you this, but you can no longer get to Dragon Roost Cavern. Even if you were of a mind to swim across, the pond's empty. That's right, it's bone dry. So they say the same thing, but just in slightly different words. Hello. What's up there? Oh, come on. Am I supposed to climb up this? Hello. 
No, it's just mail. Okay. <laughs> Stealing mail's a federal offense. It's a capital crime in Rito culture. Okay. Uh, that's gonna lead to nothing. That's gonna lead to an empty pond. But it's good to know. Okay, guard stands out outside the pond. Dragon's making everything horrible. Anyone in here? He isn't in here yet. Okay. I'll need to water the flowers to do anything in here. They know that we gamers want to just ignore the story and run around and do things out of order. Okay. And that's a ladder. Yeah. I won't bother then. There's nothing I can do in here quite yet. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Uh, Baloo's rage is causing environmental problems that impact your ability to progress. As you're from Off Island, allow me to tell you about the Dragon Roost. Even in the best of times, it's a dangerous place with all those bomb flowers growing everywhere. And now it's even more perilous. It's so bad that the bomb flowers themselves have all dried up. The great and wonderful Valu has created quite a mess. Well, aren't you salty? We used to only we used to have to worry only about bomb flowers when we went to get our scales. Now climbing's not even an issue since we can't even get close to the mountain. You think I'm joking? Go and take a look for yourself. The bomb flowers that mark the entrance to Dragon Roost Cavern have all wilted because the earth is so dry. They're not producing bomb fruit at all. It's sad, really. Okay. Then there's I guess that might be the kids' room. Let's check it out. Hello? Any depressed youngsters in here? Oh, those creepy doors. Oh, he has it, of course. What's he got in there? Just little balls. Masks? Oh, he has like a bird mask and a what kind of mask? I can't tell if that's supposed to be a mask or a ball. I guess it's a ball. He, he has a rubber ducky collection. Clothes. I didn't know that. <laughs> the, the chieftain, oh gosh, my son is obsessed with rubber ducks. Where did I go wrong? Mm. Huh? Where are you supposed to be? I'm Link. What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. What do you want from me, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to... Oh, let's take a selfie, me and you. Hang on. It'll be fun. Watch. Uh, switch. Do, do, do. Let's see. Where are you, kid? Uh, there we go. Yeah, look at me, I'm a crybaby. How do I do it? There we go. <laughs> Let's show him the photo, Let's see if he reacts. What do you want me to do with that, huh? Dragon Roast Island. <laughs> I kind of want to get to the start of the dungeon. That would be a nice stopping point. Oh, oh, you bonk into the stairs. Great. Okay, talk to those two. Let's go up. And only those two doors. Okay. Were you taking a swig? What were you doing? Hey, I know you. Yeah. You're the adventure guy sailing from island to island. Action! Excitement, right? So with all the adventuring do you, you do... Did you happen to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she's wanted one of those things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. <laughs> I have no idea why she wants a golden feather, but you know how it is. It doesn't matter why, really. I just want to see her happy, to see her smile, you know? Which is why I told her I'd send her one. Oh, you're the fledgling the chieftain mentioned, aren't you? I feel as though I should tell you, despite what he may seem like right now, young Master Kam Kamali is quite a pleasant child. His father, the chieftain, is quite busy, but Kamali's never once complained, though I'm sure he's been lonely at times. He's the chieftain's son through and through. 
However, his grandmother passed recently, and Kamali seems lost. His confidence is gone. His grandmother was always with him, you see. A great, great woman. The sparkling ball that the young master keeps with him was actually a gift from the great Baloo to Kamali's grandmother. When you meet young master Kamali, ask him about the ball he's carrying. That might help break the ice. It's a shame I'm too busy to spend more time with you. You seem to be a nice enough fellow. Sorry, I'm an adult and I have a job. I have a clipboard, see? Okay, so we gotta be a uh, wingman for this guy. Hey, Medley, best girl, where is she? Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. Well, thank you. You really do have blue clothes and a strange shaped nose. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Baloo. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? What, uh, when you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set it to blah, blah, blah. The room is way in the back of the first floor. Uh, the room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Oh, secrets, okay. After you've spoken to Prince Kamali, please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern. It's really important. I'll explain everything then, I promise. There's so much great life advice in Zelda games. Always do favors for pretty girls. It'll always work out. Be friends, befriend the ma mailman, talk to weirdos, and be nice to pretty girls. How about you? I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. The pond came from this bubbling spring. It was such a beautiful little pond. But now it's so arid, even the bomb flowers have completely dried up. It's just so hot. I'm sure the chieftain and those guys are having a tough time checking things out. But it's tough for us guards, too. So, here, I can just sort of see the chaos. Why couldn't I just jump over there from here? That wouldn't work, would it? They weren't going to let me. They knew I'd try it. Let's see. You're the guy who promised his girlfriend a feather. You're the guy who can't talk to me. Hmm, what's in there? Storage? Pots? Oh, I can't throw my sword here. Because I'm indoors. It's just a room. I can't believe they have a room with nothing in it. Okay, the little dinky box. Uh, I'm up here, is there something? Wow, it's just a room with boxes in it. Okay. No, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Yes. Oh, excellent, that's good. But first, see if you I can use you or not. I need to give you a little test, just a small one. Match the seal on the envelopes with the same icon on the shelf, and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy, simple. Use L to select a shelf, and then press A to throw a letter. Like I said, I'm going to fail on purpose. See if he ro uh, roasts me. Is that clear? Not really. Okay, now listen up. Blah, blah, blah. 
Uh huh. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. I'm a dummy. I'm a goofball. Pattern recognition is hard. Doo -doo -doo. Oh boy, I'm gonna be employed. I'm gonna get a real job. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally got one. That means I can do it. They're definitely gonna hire me now. Oh, one letter. Yikes. Sorry, but it seems you're not cut out for this sort of work. You can always try again some other time, though. I I'm sure you'll do better than this. <laughs> I can't get a job. Are you looking for work? No. Oh, I see. Disappointing. Sad. Think it over, will you? Now, what would I have said if I said no the first time? Would it have been different? Are you looking for work? Yes. You've got spirit. Excellent. Great. Well, I'm going to give you that simple test again. You know the drill. Match the seal. Okay. Uh-huh. Go. Boink. Boink. Angle. Monster. Water. Water. Monster. Thingy. What is it? Monster. Palm tree. Monster. Monster. Twenty-one letters! Great! Good! Terrific! You pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters. So that comes to a grand total of ten rupees, am I right? Come back any time, I mean it. Any time. The more letters you sort, the more you earn. Not a bad deal. For both of us. Hey, not bad. Hey, are you ready for work? Yes. Now, do I get anything if I do, like, really amazing? Okay, if you can sort twenty or more letters, you'll see some nice financial gain. Go ahead and get started. Go. Letters. Splendid super. Hmm. Your salary this time is one rupee per letter, so I need to pay you 22 rupees. Come by any time. I mean it. Any time. The better you do, the higher your salary will become. That's economics. <laughs> wow. I wish real jobs were this great. Uh, 25 letters or more, your salary will really jump. I mean it. Okay. Get to work. Work. Do you get like three rupees per letter if you make it to 25? What do you get? Or because if it's a heart piece, I want it. 25. Okay, fire. Close. I'm really close. I want to do it just in case it is a heart piece.
one away. I really want to find out if it's a heart piece. If it's just rupees, I won't do it much more, but... gotta be a hard beach, right? If they're making me did work this hard for it. Five letters! You have amazing coordination! Seriously, I'm stupefied! Incredulous! We veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you more money! Got to! Three rupees per letter comes to 75 rupees! How's that sound? Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought you looked like the lad that Chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard all about you. Yes, I sure have. You've had a rough time, Link. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helpers just arrived. Maybe you can give them some advice the next time you come by. Ah, okay, they closed that out. Link, be a pal and give our new helper some pointers the next time you're around. Just a few, even one. Who is the new helper? Is it someone? Might be someone funny, okay. He's doing inventory. The guards are there. I guess I gotta talk to the sun now. What do you want from me, huh? I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Uh, show him the letter. Mm. Letter? From my father? Mm. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Baloo. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I don't really feel like going to see Baloo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? You trying to say that you can calm Baloo down? Psh! That's a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Baloo, then I'll listen to anything you say. What? Oh, this? It's strange. Pulling this calms me down. 
forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. My grandma used to be Valu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Valu's language. Oh, grandma. If she was here, I know she could calm Valu down. I just know it. But my father and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm Valu down. It's impossible. <laughs> what? What is it, huh? Listen, you can stare all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? I'm not just going to hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? What? <laughs> Stop staring any time now. I'm not giving this to you. Then, uh, there's no one out there who can get to get Valu to settle down. So just go away and let me be miserable by myself. There's a nice theme of, like, Link and, like, he's, he symbolizes courage and then he actually encourages other people. He teaches them that quality. Very nice. Okay, I delivered the letter, so has she gone off to the front of Dragon Roost now? Yes. Is she hanging around in sight of here? Oh, I don't see her. Oh, there she is down there, okay. We gotta be careful so the guard doesn't see us interfering in uh, Rito politics. Oh, is that the new mail guy? Hold on, let's, the, uh, let's not advance the plot. Let's go talk to the new mailman. Hey, new guy! Hey, man. I'm new part-timer. Green clothes and a green hat. Pardon me for asking, but you're Link, aren't you? No. Huh? Oh, really? My mistake, man. <laughs> Come on, you really are Link, aren't you? Yes. Ah, <laughs> I knew it! You're a legend among the part-timers here. I really admire you, man. Just once, I'd like to see the legendary 25 letter sword. <laughs> Do your best, man. Must be bush. Can't wait to see you try again, though. Hold on, I gotta turn on a little more light in my room. It's getting dark. There we go. I can see. I can see. Okay, just give me something if I do it. What's up, man? Look, man, I've got a big favor to ask you. You have just got to show me the legendary. 25 let us sort, please. So what do you say, man? Let's do it. Seriously? Do your best, man. so impressed. Seriously, man. I've got to tell my mom back home all about this. I just gotta. I've got a favor to ask you, man. I'm still new here, so I'm not allowed to leave. So, would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me? Thanks a lot, man. Hey, you accepted a note to mom. It's so sad you could almost cry. 
keep it in your delivery bag until you find a post box to drop it in. I guess I could just throw it in here with all the letters, but I can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. What's up, man? Um, have you had a chance to mail that letter to my mom? I'm counting on you, man. <laughs> Always help out the part-timers. <laughs> there's a mailbox right out here, isn't there? I, I don't want to lose the letter to mom if I get burned and destroyed by a dragon. Let's see, can I throw bombs down there? I don't have any bombs up here. There we go. Ah, uh, first I gotta... There we go. Chunk power. This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. You wish to send this now? Yes. Your parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the Dragon Postal Service. Uh, the Island Postal Service. We appreciate your business. Nice. Now, does it tell me? Does it work? Tell part time Chad that his letter is delivered. Oh, who's here? New 1KC. Harp, sir. Oh, it's some kind of like, uh. Yeah, it's some kind of bot. Go away, bots. Tingle's chart. This map isn't open. Oh, Tingle, okay. Fairy. Windmill. And another fairy. Okay, he's marked the location of great fairies. That's great. This map isn't open. Oh, okay. It gives you a loose hint of where something might be. Okay, treasure map 7. We'll come back to that. It's interesting because I see it on the Wii U gamepad, but you guys, you guys don't see it. Oh, what's he have to say? Is he impressed? What's up, man? So much going, man. Ah, oh, man, things are really crazy around here. By the way, I've heard that they want you to come back and help sort letters once things have settled down a bit. How cool is that, man? They absolutely love you here. I hear they'll be saying that. I hope they'll be saying that about me someday soon. Rise and grind. Oh, hey, I got. He doesn't say anything about the letter. Okay. Hello there, Link. Are you holding up? Uh, up all right throughout your travels, not too weary? So, do you want to give it a go? One rupee per letter, okay. They raise the standard. What diminishing returns in gaming. Twenty-four letters. Ah, oh, too bad. Really unfortunate. Well, you can always come back later. No pay. <laughs> Inflation is hitting the letter economy. Oh, here we go. I wasn't here. Interesting. Who's this? Every year, the Ritos sponsor a Birdman contest on that island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year, what with the current situation on the island. No time to waste. Everyone's so busy with the Great Valu that we're running short of delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. Now well, back to work. Oh yeah, it's some kind of like, uh, flying contest. I think you have to come back here when you have... A, a later item. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We used to have such nice breezes blowing through here. Now the air is crazy. I'm positive the strange winds are a result of the wind god's anger. See, there's an important shrine below here that got broken. And now we're paying the price. What cursed luck. 
We Rito cannot live without the wind. Before we take to the skies, we always go down and visit the Wind God Shrine. That's the way it's always been. Yeah, he's looking down at the shrine. Yeah, that's cool. They have the NPC sort of connected to their uh, location and environment. That I can't do anything about until I get some items. All right, let's go talk to Medley. This one with the guard. Nice detail to remind you that it's important. Let's save real quick, just in case. actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Baloo became so angry, and in his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You'd see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me. How is, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Baloo's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. Only I possess some of her strength. I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Rose, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I'd be able to get up there. So will you help me? I don't think so. Please. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. It's just that I'm not that good at flying yet. So Will you help me? Uh... <laughs> I will not let you go until you say yes. Will you help me? Sure. Whew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up. So pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Yep. <laughs> I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh yeah, once, once more, with the wind. Pause the way, please. How nice of you to not make fun of me for for sucking at this. Here we go. We're gonna. Ah, okay. Do. Left. Yes. There we go. Oh, thank you. I think, uh, I think now I'll be able to climb to Dragon Roost and meet the Great Baloo. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Baloo's language. I'm not exactly the first with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. You've got an empty bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. Be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. It's a nice detail. She feels guilty about not taking care of the prince while he was talking to. She wasn't able to keep the loot calm, so she blames herself. You filled your bottle with water, kept pouring on something that looks dry and withered. And so both of them are grieving over the loss of grandmother, but she's actually doing something, and the prince is sitting and celebrating. So, nice contrast.
Okay. Let's see here. What's the best angle? Not quite. No, okay. And... Start of the first dungeon. Jump to the ledge, or I have to, uh, here. No, I don't think that's close enough. Okay. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Dragon Roost Cavern. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just does not belong. That one's mossy. Because it hasn't been moved. These were moved all the time. That's a nice little environmental touch. Huh? Oh, hey there. Good guy. Party with you. And pendants, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Water. I don't know why I use water. Douse them? Am I supposed to douse them or am I supposed to light one? Okay. Oh, and there's that. I think it's like a teleportation thing, but it won't work. Okay, classic puzzle. Yeah. Got a small key. Use it to open locked doors. You can only use it in this dungeon. Yep. Since you could use keys anywhere in old school Zelda. Which, is, which makes a little more sense. You'd expect it to only work in the immediate location, right? All keys are universal. Ding. I remember, what's the book? Everything bad is good for you. Uh, he has an argument that video games are good for you, and he uses this dungeon as his example, talking about how Zelda is about solving simple logic problems. Ooh, you're still okay. Okay, lava. Oh, 
Yeah, no, he's not yet. He's dead. For money. Can't do anything here yet. <laughs> Suddenly the stakes are higher. They, they just said, it would have been funny if they punished me for doing that, right? Like, no, you actually shouldn't be an idiot on purpose. I love the cloud effects. Just like the little cartoon uh, puffs of cloud. Oh, here we go. Okay, we'll have to make a uh, pathway. We got cool off the rock. Pathway there, there. And I don't know if they last forever. Let's find out. Okay, and is it only for a few seconds? Let's sink back in. See rooms you haven't been to yet. That's useful. Yeah, I can see, I see everything. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. That'll be belly really okay. Oh no! <laughs> well, that's one way to get back. He did the Mario uh, butt hop. You can see here. Second floor, right? No, I'm still on the first floor. All right. Oh. I think in hard mode, uh, nothing spawns hard, so every hit, hit counts. Well, okay. Do I have to use this hatchet? This is a job for a machete. Yeah. Okay. Got a little more warmth to it. Not anymore? Any bad guy? <laughs> jelly? Your jelly? No, okay. Small key? Okay, now I could use the small key on that door back there. So what's over here? We got some red chew jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. This gelatinous goo comes from deep within red chew chews. It is effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. Ding ding. Okay. Now, where am I? I am on the first floor. Oh, am I going to want to hit those? A rock or something? Let's try that. Before I try swinging on sword one. Oof. Really? I think I missed. There we go. Okay, the path. This way. Nice! Nice, nice, nice.
Do I have to burn it? Do I have to burn it? Yeah, okay. You can cut down somewhere. <gasps> yes, you can. Oh, boy. Ah! <laughs> All the other bridges, you can't cut down with that. Okay, that's great. That's great. Because you find out here. Oh, I got him anyway. Only go up. Oh, it's like a little baby rock. Okay. Oh, there's a golden feather. Uh, could have helped you, my boy, but it's in the wrong spot. So much loot just goes over cliffs. I see what I have to do. It's not, yeah, it's not that. I have to go this way. You can hang off ledges and climb. Yeah, they're kind of like teaching you a lot of little things. They might have shown me that in the Forsaken Fortress too, if I remember right. What? Okay. Again? Bada bing. Okay, some kind of sliding puzzle. Ooh, well, are you, what are you? It's a little. Hold on. You look suspicious. I'll figure you out later. Yeah, and another one. Were there traps here or something? So I need to hold them in such a way that I can guarantee a way up. Yep. But not in such a way that I screw up actually being able to get up there. Yeah. Like if you kept pulling, you could probably screw it up and have to walk back out. Dale Gribble extermination? What's that? Hey! 
Link, have you seen any filthy, thieving rats around? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Where is my bait? Now we'll try the pacifist solution for the rats. Now how could you theoretically screw this up? It's nice that it resets. That some magic lets that happen, right? Maybe if you pulled one all the way out. Is there a way to screw this up? Even if you try? Maybe there is no way to screw it up. Okay. Delicious. Hey, I got something real good. I'll sell it to you for real. What'll it be for you? All purpose bait. Three scoops. All purpose bait. Three scoops. 40 rupees. No oh, thanks. What'll it be for you? Joy pair. Joy pair. 30 rupees. I'll buy it. Can't carry no more. Greedy, ain't you? Bring me more sometime. More. Okay, so it's just bait. Okay, it might still be worth trying. I gotta use it up, right? This'll be, uh... What, a key? A compass, yeah. Got a compass, now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. View the map screen and see for yourself. How much stuff is hidden? Oh, there's some hidden treasure there I missed? How did I miss that? Okay. Third floor boss. Okay, no, wait. There's something over here, too. Your hidden treasure. See, they put some hidden treasure in the room so you can see it. Perfect. Okay. I want you to have an immediate use for your object. Okay, well, I can figure this out. I think we'll have to throw it. This is cool because it's combining things. It's combining the idea of lighting. The because earlier we saw the uh, what do you call it? Our first puzzle was the one that taught us to light the torches. Then we had one using the sword to cut down a door. Then we burned a door down. Now we gotta burn a door down and throw it. Yeah. Ding. So I guess he could carry it up there, right? Can he carry that up the ladder? No, he drops it. So you combine the earlier puzzles into the later puzzles. Small key. Oh, is that her? No, it's one of them. Okay, this time I'm going to try to lure him onto the ground. So that when he dies, I'll get his golden feather. For our for our bro. For helping out. I don't really have a lot of uh hold on. Oh no, that's not what I want. Wow, what oh, no! Ah! Uh. Okay, dang it. Let me guess, he has a key hidden in there. Yes, he does. He got a small key. Okay, I wonder if I kill him, and if I come back, will he respawn, and I can try this again. It's annoying, he like knocks back like 30 feet. Yes, okay, let's try this. Get a golden feather for our boy. Hey, man. Get me. Come on. Yeah, 
Yes, 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 yes. Gotcha. You got a golden feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Light it up just to be safe. A little dingy. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, not my best effort. Let's light her up. down if I'm a dummy. What's the point of playing on easy mode if you don't screw around? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Perfect. Well, okay. Oh yeah, it actually works. Whoa! They do punish you for being an idiot, okay. Nice. So I guess the bridge on Outset Island is the only one where... It's invincible. Then after that... Yeah, and they do drop a lot of hearts. So I think in hero mode, you have no heart drops. I mean, like, this was hard enough for me as a little kid, but I might, I might switch to hero mode and just try to do the best. Oh, you sleep at night. I want it, I want it. Oh, huh. Okay, I was slow on the quick throw here. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Hey, let's pick up a butcher knife. Yep. Oh, I can't. Yeah, you always drop him if you pick up anything to throw it. Oh, there we go. Really? Ugh. 
Yeah, and you need, like, later items to grab items that are out of reach. Fine. I'll need a grappling hook. Oh, a hidden one. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, they make you work to find the hidden ones. Okay. Another water room. And there's something over there. A nasty little baby, okay. Whoa! That worked. Did that work? I'm not ready for hero mode. I'm not a real gamer. Okay. Draw the sword. Yeah, I just actually attack. What? There. Ah! I killed him. <laughs> I'm back into the lava. <laughs> I'm so cool. And he's back. Ah! Link's making an ugh face. Okay, draw a sword first. Oh, that's... Holy cow, is he gonna kill me? Hold on. Okay. Let's save. Alright, so the problem is I have to make sure when I bounce back right into the lock. Draw a sword. Get in there. No, 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 no. No! <sighs> Drawing my camera. And he's dead. <laughs> I don't think I even got a game over when I was a kid. Sure. Let's, let's, mar a mark of shame. Continue playing. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna explore here a little bit. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my, what an interesting barrel. <laughs> oh no, are they gonna do this again? Hey, don't mind me, I'm just gonna climb up here. You won't even, you won't even know I'm here. Have a happy day, guys. All right, you booger. Turn on my sword button. Okay. Oh, hey, that was better than last time. Now, do I get the action? Ooh, okay. Now what? Yeah. Just to be safe, I'm gonna throw one here. Yeah. Now I'm gonna you. Okay. It only work once.
Dutch. Lots of showing you where you need to go before you get the important item you need. That way. Is that where I saw before? No. What I'm thinking of is all the way down where the Rito are. Okay. <laughs> That's like a Mario platform. necklace you can keep it in your spo spoils bag. A rather off-putting accessory would appear to be of little value. If shown to the right person, it is apparently of great worth. Oh, I think it's fine. Okay. okay, I want to try out this. Oh yeah, I just love the little details. Medley, look, I got a spear. Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. The Great Valu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, Link. Use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's the device we Rito used before we evolved wings. Ah. You got the grappling hook. It's an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Okay. We used to haul things up to the for a while on the boat. Here, Link, climb on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Let's go ahead and set it. Grab this branch with the grappling hook, and you can swing over there to get out of this area. If you aim at a branch that you can latch onto with action, uh, action will appear. Remember that, okay. 
Don't worry about me, Link. Get going. I'm gonna make fun of me if I can't do it. Oh, and then they give you one to practice on in front of the on top of a nice little ledge. And then later we'll have to do it over a pit of lava. When it really counts. back down here. That definitely leads somewhere. Let's try it out. I mean, there's more than one spot to check out. Let's start here. I was a little kid, I remember he once cut it, and then either we both fell off or he fell off, and that was just, I just thought that was the coolest thing. The other cool thing is how the soundtrack uh, syncs to your mo motion, it's amazing. There we go. Down on the lower floor, okay. Well, I mean, would I just die? Let's actually do it. Yeah. Get a land safe. Come on. get back up there. Okay. Clever. Okay. Hold on. I'm in a whole new part of town. Okay. I see. If I cut the ropes, that'll fall down and I'll have a platform to get back up. Verticality. Oh! Run! I only cut two and then I flopped right down. That's hilarious. Oh, I need a proper spin attack. That's the only yeah. way. But we even have like a nice spin motion there to let you know. Yeah. Ah, what? I did the spin attack and then it dropped me here. Okay. I would rather it had dropped me in the lava and teleport me back there, but okay. Let's figure this out. Well, it took me down here, so let's look for treasure while I'm down here. Yeah. I saw something I needed that I'm wrapping up for anyway. Yeah. Of course. They time it just right, too. They time it just so it gets you as you're coming up. Devious. This away. And then turn right. 
Here we go, yeah. Yeah, so I just swing, it won't do anything. Hmm, that's tricky. Okay, I need to let I need to let Properly. Fine, we'll have to reload the guy. Baseball arm. Got it. Bosky? Hey, I'll take it. Okay. There's apparently one more piece of treasure on this floor. So I guess falling down wasn't the worst thing. See, it gave me a chance to explore again. That leads to the second floor, so I'm not gonna go there yet. What is? I have to turn left. There's... Oh, that's creepy. Can I reach that yet? Can I even reach that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's like a wide open passage. That's where I was before when I was poking around. I see. I don't think I can reach it from this spot though. It's so cool. Look at that. It's like a face carved in the mountain. All right, in that case, let's go up. Or third floor boss, fourth floor. Yeah, you know, let me think about how the map wraps around, actually. Hey, okay, guys? Okay. What does that connect to? Let's just go this way first, because I know that's an access. It gives me access to the second floor. Yeah. 
This just leads to the bomb, I believe. Another kind of nice detail is letting you use bombs to solve puzzles, but in limited formats, right? Because then after you get bombs, then you don't, uh, you can't arrange bomb puzzles that way ever again. So you just always have what you need. Similar to, uh, what, Goron Village has puzzles like that. Okay, treasure in here. Oh, okay. Yep. Over expensive rat food. Not already. Yeah. Tet uh, Link dimly w realizes wait, how long has Tetra been watching me? Is she watching everything I do? Is she impressed? Hello, let's try. I'll try this part. Ah, yes. Now I can just ignore you and take all your loot. Okay, you have like three pieces of loot. Nice, I'm gonna use that. in disaster. There you go. Okay, yellow guy. And this leads to the dead end. Yeah, it's a one way path. Okay. You have to hope there was nothing important in there. <coughs> I explored that. I got back down. And that's how I got stuck with the uh, stupid thing. Well, okay, so since I have a teleportation here, let's try to unlock the elevator path in case I need it later. Might be nice to have a shortcut. A couple of shortcuts. You don't really need it because you basically just use the teleportation. Maybe you maybe want, you, want you to have the second path in case you were split. Ha 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 ha! 
Oh, they cut all three. Is there any way to cut them from a distance? What's A? Oh. The platform ahead is hung in perfect balance, so if you so much as tilt it, it will dump you into the lava. There must be a way to cut the cords free simultaneously. Think it over carefully before you act. Now, I did it. Yep. Didn't quite work. It's kind of like Navi, but the difference is uh, it's, yep. she only kind of like shows up if you're in real trouble or struggling. Yeah. There. Now I have a path to here. Is there something down there? Yeah, okay, this is a, this is something. Is there a way to access something? Aha! Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Ah. There we go. Okay, well, hell on. Huh. Oh, okay. Use that. That's a lever. change my direction. Let's see, it doesn't look like there's anything there. I guess I'll check it. Yeah, so you can like stand here and be confused and figure out you're supposed to change direction. Just like Nico taught us. R stops you. Gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. You can map previously for yourself. I don't want to photograph one of these ugly buggers. I think that might, that might be a little hard to find. What a 
ですSee why this system didn't sell. It's got like wonky motion controls. Verticality uh, puzzle. Now where to? I need to go there. I think that's going to lead me back to looking for the room with the pie now. Oh great! After I activated that, I guess the blob is making fire keys now, or do they just want to challenge me? All right. So what I really need is you. you. Here. Well, it's not going to matter if I don't. Uh, uh, the cartoonish antics of a 12 year old clown. Okay, this is a cool detail. So the grappling hook is like an eagle claw, and their grappling hook ledges have an eagle claw aesthetic to them. So it's like it it's culturally connects, and it's giving you a clue that, hey, use the thing that looks like a hook. Okay, 
that fight. Got a knight's crest. Keep it in your spoils bag. All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of a crest such as this. Yep. Oh, I'll bring it to Orphan. He knows about that. Hey, nice. But I have caught her in a bottle, though. The bottle might be more valuable than the picto box. Yep. I'll take I wonder if you can still use it. Yeah, you can. Okay, I, I won't spoil that. Cross that bridge when we come to it. No, no. Take a catch. Dang it. I wanted to catch your little fairy friend in my Navi. Well, maybe if I walk out and come back down. A yellow rupee. That's worth 10 rupees. Not too shabby. I hate that when I walk up to a ledge and it just drops off. Hey, Papa. go in there. You know what, let's go ahead and reload and get that fairy. Just so I have it for later. I think the fairies, I think the fairies might save you automatically. They may not heal you as much as a healing potion. fairy in a bottle. When your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your strength. It looks so sad. Oh, I don't like being in here. Okay, now yeah, let's pick the rocks. You are useful, actually. Let's save. Get, stay in there. Stay put. Can I just like instantly do it? Oh, right. Okay, he gets 
down some time. I missed it. It's going a little faster, that's cool. Every time it goes a little bit faster. I thought this was easier as it There. John, you only need like a Oh my god, he caught me in midair! He's gonna be a little faster If you want to do a challenge run, you can just skip this heart and you'll permanently be weaker for the rest of the game. I won't do that this run. What can I, uh, swing on for? No, they don't let me do it again. Yeah, I guess, uh, I remember trying the ledge trick the last time I played this game. And I don't know if it gives you any advantage. Maybe it just gets you up to high out of this range. It's fun to try.
Oh, I don't even get to talk to them. Luke. Is that, uh... Oh, it's them, okay. Well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? I, uh... Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be some like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Link? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You received Din's Pearl. This is the gem of the, the Rito's claim was passed down from the great guy. The great Baloo is grateful to you, Link. Okay, so if you play this in the second playthrough, it's translated and it contains spoilers, so I won't tell you what it is. Use the Wind God's Wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Baloo also means you, Link, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm gonna go and visit Baloo. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali! Thank you so much, Link. See you again someday. Hey, we help. And we don't even have to go talk to the wind guy. Okay, that's suspicious. Look, it just leads up in a line. I bet I need uh, arrows for that. What do you have to say about this? Up. I'll need arrows. No way this can reach. Nope. Ah, uh, do the root Rito have anything to say about my victory? things now. You can go ahead and take a look at Dragon Roost if you want. They're still assessing the situation though, so I wouldn't go inside. Well now... Yeah, it all looks nice now. Oh, I didn't restore all the uh, all the flowers. You could have you could if you really wanted to. Just up, uh, Dragon Roost just up and stop shaking. I wonder if this means the Great Baloo is feeling better. This is great news for the fledglings. Now they can climb Dragon Roost and get their scales. They're still checking to see if Dragon Roost is safe. Just wait, wait just a bit more, please. Uh, the Prince, what's the Prince doing? Yes? Who is it? I'm busy now. I'm trying to grow wings so I can go visit my friends. It's not easy, so let me be. Oh, I'm the friend he's gonna go visit. Okay. Doink. Huh, where's the king? I talked to you, didn't I?
Young Master Kamali went running back to his chambers. He seemed very excited. It's been a while since we've seen him so energized. The Great Baloo has reverted to his normal disposition? Perhaps this will return things to normalcy. I have no idea why she wants a golden feather, but you know how it is. Doesn't matter why, really. I just want to see her happy. See her smile, you know? Which is why I told her I'd send her one. Let's help a bro out. Hey, that's what my girlfriend wants, a golden feather. Uh, so how many of those do you have? Well, yeah, well, why don't you get 20 of those? Would you let me have them? I know she only wanted one, but if I give my girl 20 of them, I'd be loving life. I'd like to get out and gather them on my own, but... You know, I've got God duty and all. I've got to go farming. Okay. Is there anything in here now? No, it's still empty. Just an odd little spot. What's up, man? My co-workers let me in on your little secret, man. All letters addressed to you are specially delivered to the post box closest to you, no matter what island you happen to be on. That's so cool, man. I've heard all about all the work you did here. You've really been through some rough times, man. Way to go. What's up, man? Oh. Let's see. Big guy. Link. Where are you gonna go? No, it's not worth it. Okay, come on by if you ever change your mind. It's law of diminishing returns. I actually don't know if I can hold more than 500 anyway. I can explore out here a bit more now. What do these guys have to say? It appears that the Great Valu is in much better spirits. Maybe we'll have our annual Birdman contest after all. Birdman! used to have such nice breezes blowing through here. Now the air is crazy. Let's see here. I already talked to you. Yeah, I already talked to you. Okay, feathers no good. Grab the hook. Got a photo of Goma. Got a photo of the nasty dude. Anything else here that's coming Oh, I didn't get a photo of the bird. Well, okay, what's up here? That looks a little suspicious. Okay, there's one roosting there. being up here. This seems really important. Yeah. I guess this is like a really oh, did it drop down? No, I don't think so. Like an air vent for, the, for them to breathe? I don't know. It's a little suspicious. Play a song here? What's going on? Yeah. 
Okay, then it seems like it leads up here. Is it just a way to get down there? Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, so 20 rupees. I get it. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, I, but I want to go back and talk to the other, so maybe I'll come back here. Let's go again. Oh, you can't do it here. Okay. Get a little closer. Ah, Link. I hoped I would get the chance to thank you in person. Medley told me everything. I am extremely grateful for all that you have done. It seems you have helped my son, Kamali, find his courage as well. You have done so much for us. I thank you. Tell us if there's anything the Rito can do for you. Anything at all. I believe your journey is far from over, but no matter where you may go, we can still reach you. As you travel from island to island, be sure to check the local post box. We shall be sure to deliver any letters or packages addressed to you, to the post box nearest you. Keep your eyes peeled for the moving post boxes, for they may have mail within them. I trust that is clear. We will deliver any letters or packages addressed to you to the post box nearest you without fail, I promise you. You may continue your journey knowing this to be true. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You're gonna deliver the mail to me. Oh, I feel so rewarded. <laughs> Master Link, I must thank you so very much. What are you, mute sket? Could you not show a little appreciation? I am working on it, Akut. Uh, thank you so very much. Take care of yourself. Master Link, you really helped us out of a pickle. Am I right, Akut? You could not be more right, Skit. <laughs> you saved our tail feathers. They're a dynamic duo. I love them. Are you happy? I was just thinking that it hasn't been quite so hot lately. And what do you know? The pond's gone back to normal. The pond's filled up again. We've got to get busy repairing the bridge. They still won't let me jump down, though. Okay. Just a little sneak peek. Alright. Let's take the uh, dangerous way around so we can get that 20 rupee piece. Can I aim there from here? Let's see. Oop. Yeah, it seems like it's a bad angle to try it. There we go. Yeah, it's as low as I can go. Okay. Instead, what we're gonna do? We're gonna dangle. Dang it, I have to dangle over just the right spot. So let me crawl. Not quite. Right here. That'll do it. Ding. Okay. That is interesting. Okay, I guess it was to like... Yeah, you could, like, practice aiming your way to get up, but I did it the other way around. Oh, that hurt. Okay, good to know. Yeah, so it's not just, like, big obvious things. It's little posts and such I can hook onto. Yeah, they 
want you to use the path there. We go. Then I can climb up. All right, I'm gonna try taking a jump off this and see if I can roll to minimize the damage. Let's try it. Oh, and I'll go into the water. But it didn't hurt me. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean there's no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Way ahead of ya. Uh, uh, why do you tarry? What is the matter, Link? Feel free to take a detour if something catches your eye, but don't lose sight of the objective marked on your sea chart. Sailing, sailing over the bounty way. Oh. Okay, this is a bit farther. You might see some interesting items. Hoi! Hold it right there, small fry. <laughs> I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there. But it looks like to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart if you ask me. <laughs> What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. And I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. Ah, bada bing! That's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't get there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Frey. See, the baiting process allows you to get, in, to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. So, see, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Frey. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now don't see I never did anything for you, Frey! Oh, you there! You kingly red lion guy! That's it! I've repaid my debt! I'm done! You take care of the rest! Ooh, okay. Foreshadowing. That the fish owe him. Well, why would the fish owe him? Okay, so... And there is, I've got to get the ability to fly, and then I'll be able to float across those rocks or something. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I think it was where they were having, like, the E-Man, Birdman contest. Well, got a little thing to dive in. Oh, hello. That's suspicious. Okay, look for a fish. Then... Hold on. Wait, wait. Hope I don't get killed by anything while I'm looking at this stuff. Here we go. small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart and information about this island? I'll start by opening up your seat chart. Oh. 
Fire Mountain. Okay, this will be important later. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava? Like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, well, you see, there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you have to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look right. Okay, so one square north, so it'll be just west of Windfall. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait out on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fight an evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. It's worth 50 rupees, that's just great. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's creepy. Save it. Yeah, I'll show it to the guy. Ooh, I'm in the middle of a storm. Oh, it's him, but I can't fight him right now. Okay. I have no method of defeating him. Oh, okay. Can I talk to these guys? Yo! Yeah. Yeah. Mighty fine boat you got there, Bob. You must be searching for treasure on the sea floor too, aren't you? <laughs> arr, arr, arr. You won't get any from us, Bob. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fish sea? I'll tell you who, Bob. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. Why? <laughs> you know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave the shores... I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, Bob. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, Bob, let me tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, no for nar. Just grab it. You got a treasure chest. He wants to encourage young treasure hunters. First, open your map on the Wii U gamepad and then compare the island charts on the right with the treasure charts on the left to see where the treasure is. If you press plus to pause the game, you can take your sweet time pouring over the charts. After all, haste makes waste. Then, you just use your grappling hook while you're in your boat to haul up treasure. Then press right, easy as you like. Yeah, those grappling hooks. Nothing pulls stuff up like those things. <laughs> Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting! Bye! <laughs> well, okay, let's definitely... No, 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 no. What's the matter, Bob? To search for treasure, you should open up your map. Then compare the island charts on the right with the... Blah, blah, blah. It's not quantum physics, Bob. 
The secret to haul up treasure is to go toward the sea to the area marked on the map, and once you think you've found the right spot, use your grappling hook while you're in your boat. Trust me, it'll work, bub. The only other thing you need is patience. So that's how it works. <laughs> okay, set sail. But, I'm gonna open up here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Is that you, fish? Oh, I need a... I'm gonna need some more bait. I'm eating, I'm eating it up. Okay. Hoy, small fry. Let's see here. Open up your sea chart. Oh, Triangle Island. Perfect. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think you've finally met your match, if you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable-looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. And that's all the info I've got to offer. You want to hear it again? Blah, blah, blah. And with that, I'm off. Oh, Cyclone Guy's going to grab me and toss me around. Okay, well, there may not be anything here for me right now. Reach Bomb Island, head south from here. Okay. Yep, just a lovely little garden area until I have to come back here later. And which one are you? That pearl? But I can't do anything, can I, yet? No. I've got to come back yep. after I have instructions. Set sail and avoid the jerk. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Nope, not Treasure in a some little island. I'll grab the treasure, why not? out, okay. Where's that island I saw? There. Or it's a pirate boat. Some of the islands are a little dinky. Ah, the submarine, okay. This is my chance to get a water bottle.
still don't have magic. Either. Let's get rid of uh, my silly goofy. Yeah. 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 That way it always be. Donkey Kong? <laughs> Empty bottle, perfect. I'll just drink, drink water, another thing. Oh, there's the plate. I said I wanted to try this just to annoy him. Oh, yeah, I can touch the ZR, but. Round. Scope on this button, I want to the button is mapped differently. There, why? Yeah, I want my most useful button there. Okay, so there might be something there for me to come back and get later. I'm guessing I need uh, uh, hover, the hover beam or something like that. I don't know point in getting the money because. I mean, unless there's something to get something rare out of it, but, uh, it... yeah. Pizza delivery? Oh, wait, who's firing the stuff at me? Oh, well. That way I'm not just random number generating uh, crunching. Here we go. What a pleasant surprise. Alright, sometimes it's like a little bit. It'll give you the best stuff. 
almost no point. Okay, well, just, did I never find a chart? I'll find it on the way back. It's so annoying to change the wind. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Link. The forest here. May appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean surface. This is a sacred place. Is inside this grotto you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. You must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Feror's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached its most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Hey, he's happy. What's up? Good morning. Letters for Link? We have one letter. Here is your letter. What you? To my son's superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. If this isn't much, but I, I hope you will accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness toward my son, Ashiko, Baito's mother. You got a piece of heart. That's the fourth piece, completing your heart container. Your life energy has increased by one heart. Nice, all right. Everybody, 